Hey everybody, and welcome back to Mission Control for a future focus video. In this video, we're going to talk about key list editing. You can edit a key list in multiple ways by using the unfold method and merging or replacing the same as a single queue playback, by merging any changes done in the program or using record and the connect queue, then specify the queue number on the keypad and press enter. Once you're in the record mode, simply set up the look for your first queue, make sure you set the legend. And any times you want and save the information, repeat the processes with as many cues as you desire. When you have finished recording, press exit, then clear. By merging the information currently the programmer into the currently connected queue with pressing record and then connect queue key twice. Press the record step, queue to key twice on consoles equipped with this key. You also have the ability to quickly add another queue onto a queue list. So you just set up your look you wish to record and hold down the record button and select the swap key of the playback handle. The queue will automatically be added to the end of the queue list. This can also be done with the record and then hitting the next queue key twice. You can also open the playback view and then press record and then press the add button at the bottom of the list to add a queue to your list. So let's take a look at some of that. Here we are with version 15 of Titan on the Titan Go interface. You can see we have a queue list with 12 queues in it. So if we wanted to unfold it, we could use the unfold and hit the blue swap key of it. And see that it lays out our cues on the faders. We see we only have 10 faders. So if we hit the previous or next page, we hit next page, we can see our 11th and 12th queue. And if we proceed previous page, we can go back to our first 10. So if we were to say, well, let's bring up uh, queue four here. And then we wanted to change its Look, we go and say we want to select our BMFLs, and we'll change those to yellow. And then we'll just go ahead and hit record here. And then we can go ahead and merge it. I see it has merged that in, so we can clear in our programmer. Then we can bring this down, refire. We can see that our BMFLs are now in yellow. To exit unfold, we simply either hit unfold again or AVO and exit, so if we right click on the AVO key in the Titan Go interface or press and hold on the normal consoles and hit exit, and you see that it gets us out of that menu. If we had on, say, one of our other queues, and we wanted to add some more stuff, say we uh, selected our spiders and we located them and gave them this color palette, uh, and we want to do add that in, we could hit the Record, and then the connect queue key and now we can either merge it to the current queue in this case it would be on queue one or we could change it to a different queue number say five and we see that we would put it on five instead we could also uh, merge or replace we set our masks our code mode as well as our update forwards backwards or both or queue only we're just going to go ahead and exit and clear that. Let's say that on Q2 here, we wanted to add in our blades. So we usually go and select them, locate them. I'll give them a color. And we'll give them a position. Then we could go ahead and hit record. And then connect Q key twice. That would record into Q2. If we had anything other than a Titan Go, Titan Mobile, or Quartz, we could have also double tap the record step key. And we bring up our playback view here up. If we want to review this to make sure it's been in the program, we go and press and hold the able key or right click on the Titan Go interface, then double tap live time and see it'll go back to our previous queue, then rerun this queue with its fade times. Or if we could hit the review key on one of the other consoles. If we wanted to add a queue to the queue this is currently running, we can go ahead and say select our fixtures. And we'll put them on. We can hit the record key by pressing and holding or right click on the technical interface and hit our blue swap button. And see that it has added Q13 to our queue list. We can also say we'll make another change here. Go ahead and locate those, and we'll put them in red. And we'll give them a position. If we were to hit record, 
and then on our keyless view here we can hit add and see now that is added a 14th Q. So that has been editing a keylist in version 15 of Titan. I hope you learned something. Please subscribe. Join us here next time. Join us on Facebook at Avalites US. Thanks. Bye. We'll stop. Roger, we'll stop Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning.